All right, so this is the requested Dana Scully makeup. Uh, first things first, make sure you have blue eyes. <laughs> I naturally have very dark brown eyes, so I wanted to take this costume one step further and give myself big old baby blues, just like Scully has in the show. Um, starting off, we're gonna take any sort of, just any uh, concealer that you have, like a, a cream or a stick or anything, and just cover up every single imperfection that you have. Dana Scully is flawless. So, um, just take that and put it over every freckle of your black circles, your dark circles under your eyes, and like blemishes and stuff. I definitely do full coverage with mine. I sort of double mine as a primer, just because it's a nice texture. Now, here I am covering up the insides of my lips on the, on the bottom lip. This will come up a little bit later, but for this, you really want to round out the bottom of your lip. Get that shape really sort of plump around the middle. Um, this is going to become more important because definitely the most important step of this tutorial is the lips. So next up, take pretty much any sort of, you know, uh, uh, foundation that you use. I have a certain... Um, sort of technique that I do with mine because I'm really pale and no foundation that uh, comes commercially made is my skin color so I have to mix it with just some like white Halloween makeup. It works, you know. So just, you know, put that all over and blend it out. Pretty much any sort of, you know, regular regimen that you have with your foundation uh, works just fine. And next what I do is I take a tinted uh, mattifying powder and I put that all over my face. Just cover up everything. You want your face to be matte and smoothed out. You don't want any sort of sign that you're actually wearing makeup. And this step uh, is totally optional. I just have really uh, oily under eyes so I take a little bit of that extra powder and just smooth it underneath my uh, bottom lid. Next, take any sort of um, sort of dusty rose kind of uh, red tint blush. I recommend definitely using something along the pink or red uh, color spectrum. Try to stay away from oranges, anything that has that sort of tone to it. You want your face to look sort of flushed not bronzed. I actually skip bronzing. Next we're gonna do eyebrows. Um, she is a natural dirty blonde kind of color but in the show she has that striking red hair. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some sort of like a little taupe color and just do your regular brow routine Brows aren't like super important, but if you really want to sort of embody that, I would definitely give yourself a little bit of a higher arch than uh, you would usually. If you do like really flat eyebrows like I do sometimes, um, definitely amp up the arch because uh, she does the eyebrow thing. <laughs> um, Y'all know what I'm talking about. Next is the auburn stage. I just take a little bit of it and put it on the brush part. You don't want it to be too red just because that's not what her natural brow color is, but definitely have it match uh, your hair color, which will be ginger. And this is an optional step, but if you want to, you can take a white eyeliner pencil and just put a little bit of it and blend it out right under your um, brow bone to sort of elevate it and, you know, make it look a little bit um, highlighted. That's completely optional if you have really high brows to start out with. And put a little bit on your cupid's bow as well, just to plump up your top lip as well. And down your nose. She has a really uh, definitive nose shape, so what you want to do is you definitely want to um, embody that with a bit of a highlight. And this is technically my bronzer. It's just like, you know, um, a little bit, like a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone. 
but what you're gonna do that you're gonna take like a little bit of a just a light dusting on uh, any sort of oval brush shape and you're gonna like contour your nose to get that shape that she has definitely you know in the um the creases and underneath like on the tip of your nose she's got a really sort of thinned out nose right down to the bottom so you want to create a little bit of false shadow underneath there and just overall uh, iron out uh, the shape that she has next is eyeshadow this palette is a godsend it's just like a super you know all-in-one set um, so first start out with that really nice light shimmery champagne color and you're gonna put that pretty much all over really focus it in on your inner corner and on your brow bone because you want it to have that highlight but it's nice just as an overall uh, cover because it really amplifies everything that goes on top of it because it does have a bit of a pearl texture to it Take that taupe brown, kind of light brown color, and focus this on the center and outer corner of your eye, and dig it in, especially around the outer corner, and create that um, that socket shape. I naturally have hooded eyes, so what I like to do with this is uh, sort of redefine the shape and bring it right around your um, like your your bone, right in there. Um, and really sort of just go with the natural shape. Next, take a smaller oval, this one is a like a MAC brush, and take that dark brown color and get that right in the outer corner as well and follow that shape again, really getting that uh, shadow in there. If you naturally have really sort of deep eyes, I would say, you know, sort of tone it down just a little bit, but because my eyes are hooded and I have to work to get that shape in there, um, I really focus it around the socket. Next, this is just a loose pigment. It's like a shimmering white. It's really nice. And just take a little tiny bit of it on your pinky and focus it sort of on the center and bring it down into your um, inner corner to highlight and make your eyes look that much, you know, larger. And then uh, you take any sort of matte black or dark gray. I unfortunately didn't have a matte gray to use, so I am using uh, Max Carbon Black. Um, but any sort of matte shade will do, and you're going to use this as an eyeliner. I actually recommend using an eyeshadow uh, for a liner over a regular eyeliner, just because it's a lot more um, subtle. It's a lot more feminine and sort of, you know, um, demure, if you want to use that kind of fancy language. So focus it around the outer corner again, really getting it in there, and blending out the edges. You don't want any harsh lines in this. She has, you know, very soft features, very rounded features, so make sure that the lines that you have in there don't really have definitive ends. You want to have it all blend into each other. And next, you're going to take that same angle liner that you used and pick up some of that brown color that we used before and just bring this down around the bottom line, bringing it to about halfway down. You don't need to follow your entire lower lash. In fact, I recommend not doing so. And taking a white pencil, again, uh, focus this and bring it around your inner lid. She has big baby blue, she has big ol' eyes, you know. As David said, her eyes are big and they're blue and they're wet. <laughs> so make sure you really amplify that aspect. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's mascara time! This one is a Clump Crusher, yeah, Clump Crusher mascara. I actually recommend not using too much. She doesn't really go ham on her lashes at all, really. So what I recommend is def definitely taking some sort of, sort of natural looking mascara, or even a mascara that's running out, um, and not overdoing it. And then if you want to, you can take a darker color and sort of darken them a little bit and bring it around your bottom lashes as well. I have really long bottom lashes, so I really don't have to do much with this. And now it's the most important step, the lips. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a lip liner that's about the same color as yours, maybe a little darker, or to match the lipstick, and you're gonna round out the bottom of your lips again, uh, as I mentioned before. You're gonna make sure that your bottom lip is super pouty, super rounded out at the bottom, make sure it's nice and plump. This is probably the most important step, uh, getting the lip shape right. And you can see why I put in the concealer in my lips uh, in the beginning. You're gonna take the lip liner and draw it up so that the end of the line is basically on the inside of your lips. And then when you're doing the top lip, just do your top, like the middle of the top, sort of regular, you know. Make sure you definitely have a defined point down in the middle. But when you bring it around, her lip, her top lip on the outside has a little bit of like a pucker. So what you're going to do is you're going to take it from the outside. You're gonna take it from the outside and really round out that shape and bring it out a little bit further than your natural lip shape and really just round that out. It's okay to take as much time as you need with this step. This is probably one of the hardest because you really, really want to nail it. Uh, her lips are probably the most prominent feature on her face, um, so make sure that you really get this part right. Um, the more that you practice it, the more that you're gonna get better. So, you know, don't be afraid to just try like every day, wear it out, you know, on a regular basis. Even though this is technically costume makeup, you can use it for uh, everyday purposes. Make sure you've got that shape down pat. And then taking a lip color that's similar to the uh, lip liner that you used. This one is uh, a Revlon Pink Pearl. It's got a really nice sort of shimmer finish. Not overly so, but just coat your entire lips, like all over, cover it up. This is uh, definitely like a dusty sort of uh, pinky brown kind of shade. This is definitely one that I would recommend using. She's not much of a pink kind of person, but having something with brown undertones is definitely the best. And there we go. I'm practicing my Dana Scully is judging you faces. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Uh, thanks so much and good luck.